<laughs> All right. Alex is the artist behind the act called Cardboard Girl. She is a 14-year-old singer, songwriter from London in the UK. Uh, she writes little quirky songs that you hope that she hopes you enjoy. I have Alex here today. Alex, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Hello. <laughs> awesome. Well, excited to have you on. So how did you get into making music at such an early age? I mean, is this something that, you know, you kind of discovered? Like, I mean, you're, you're only 14, so you've had, uh, you know, not the longest career ever, but like you've jumped into, <laughs> you jumped into music so early. How does that start? <laughs> uh, well, I started playing guitar at about eight, I think. And then I started songwriting shortly after. And um, it was just for fun, like, it's always been just for fun, but um, more recently, like in the past two years, um, I guess I've been writing a lot more and I decided to start putting stuff on YouTube just to see how it went, really, just for fun. Nice. And so did your parents have um, like a lot of influence? Are they musicians as well? Or are you kind of like the first? Uh, not really, no. They're not very uh, creative, really. <laughs> they're just, they're a lot more, uh, I don't know, they're not really into that oh gotcha okay and so you have this awesome youtube channel where you you know you not only put up music you you know you put up these songs that you write and you do like music videos for them which are really well done and you you have see like you have some other stuff of um you making (laughs) making different visual art and things of that nature so how did you get into you know being such a creator across the board uh i'm not really sure i think i've listened to music all my life and i've loved it and then i just wanted to um start making it i guess yeah Interesting. But my parents aren't really um singers or anything so i don't really know <laughs> how that happened <laughs> that's so cool and i mean like you have like this very um like almost fearless kind of mentality that you have on youtube because it's like you're posting tons of content you know whether it's songs and music videos or you know like visual art stuff you're doing like um how did you get into youtube and, and putting stuff out uh, I just it's sort of all for fun really I it's yeah I just get a bit bored so I just thought I'd put stuff on there I wasn't I'm not really expecting it to like go anywhere really I just thought it would be a nice thing to do and because I was making um all these songs and things and also like other art as you said um I thought I might as well share it and um see if I don't know maybe the songs might help people because I've always found music, like relating to music, really helpful. So I thought maybe I could do that. Awesome. Who are some of the Who are some of the artists that you relate to the most um, that have helped kind of I don't know, you, like transform your sound or like help you, um, you know, just even personally in your personal life? Um, well, there's a singer called Dodie, and she's definitely my um, main inspiration. She um, She also started on YouTube, but um, she's I think she's amazing. Her lyrics are so um, honest and comforting. So I really like her music. Um, And there's also a band called Oh Wonder, who I really like. Um, I love their harmony. So that's sort of where I sort of found, was inspired to do like harmonies and things like that. So, um, and there's lots of them really. Um, I like Conan Gray. Um, Yeah, I just, um, yeah, I like really any sort of indie pop music or stuff like that really (laughs) cool so um what is the songwriting process like for you because you i mean you put out a bunch of different songs and and you come up with these cool music videos for them and stuff what does that process look like for you uh yeah um i can't really like sit down and write a song just straight away i just normally um think up an idea um normally they come from like personal experience a lot of the time um and it's more a way to like process stuff um and so I'll decide I want to write a song about something and then I'll come up with the initial idea and then just really go from there um and start like thinking up lyrics and I try to make them more like story sort of so um because I find that's a nice way to structure it for me I find it easier to do it that way and so I sort of come up with characters and things like that Awesome. So you released a song about a week ago called Ghost Boy. Uh, Can you tell me a little bit about it? Uh, Well, that song is sort of about a boy who's quite quiet and lonely and very introverted to the point where he sort of shut everyone out of his life, really. Um, And I'm quite a quiet girl and like I find social situations very nerve wracking. So um, I wanted to write about that. And um, yeah, so I made this character and I thought, like a ghost is quite 
I don't know, sort of like that very invisible and that's sort of how you feel if you're very quiet. So um, I decided to uh, use that to base my song off of. And yeah. Nice. Well, let's jump into it. Let's play it. This is a song called Ghost Boy by Cardboard Girl. That was Ghost Boy by Cardboard Girl. Uh, where does the name Cardboard Girl come from, by the way? Um, I'm not really sure. I wrote a song called Cardboard Girl um, a while ago, and it was about um, like staying in my comfort zone, being in a bit of a box kind of thing. Um, and then it just, I kind of liked the way it sounded, so I decided that would be um, my name, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So what what does the future hold for you? I mean, like, are you, you're obviously so young, you're still... Um, you know, finding your way, finding your sound, but I mean, you're, you're putting out a ton of music, which is incredible. Like, I, I think 
I think you have an extremely bright future, but like, what does, what does the future hold for you? Like, are you, are you looking to collaborate with other people? Do you want to keep doing solo stuff? Like, do you have any kind of idea? Um, I'm not sure. I guess anything really. I'd love to keep, um, releasing music and maybe collaborate with people. Um, I'm not, I don't really know what the future holds is, I guess, um, whatever happens happens I'm not sure I could ever make it as like a singer but I'd love to just keep um writing and see where it goes I guess nice by the way what is your setup like how do you record this stuff do you um because it looks like you're very DIY um kind of have a DIY setup like yes. you, you give any tips for people who at home want to make you know music um you know in a DIY fashion um well I have a microphone and then I use garage band um and but I think whatever you have really just keep writing and um like making music because it doesn't really matter what um equipment you have just go for it and um if you don't want to share it yet just keep writing anyways because um you have to start somewhere really i guess awesome good good tip so where can people stay in touch with you i know you have the the youtube channel um is there any other social channels that you kind of engage with fans on uh yeah i have instagram um as well youtube and instagram are the main things but then i also do a bit on soundcloud but um yeah that sort of i just post the songs there as well so um and they're all cardboard girl as my um username so if you want to um see those that's where i post <laughs> very cool yeah and her instagram handle by the way is uh at cardboard girl underscore um yeah so. yeah <laughs> Please go give her a follow. Reach out if you like her music. Uh, pay her some compliments. Um, awesome stuff. Thank well, thanks you. so much for thanks so much for coming on the show. That's okay. Thank you for having me.